वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्व डैश फिफ्टीन सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व दैट इज डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ बीम्स एंड शॉफ्ट एंड द बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज द टू वुडन मीटर स्टिक्स आर सेपरेटेड एट देयर सेंटर बाय स्मूथ रिजिड सिलेंडर हैविंग डायमीटर ऑफ फिफ्टी मिलीमीटर डिटरमाइन द फोर्स एफ दैट मस्ट बी अप्लाइड एट ईच एंड इन आर्डर टू जस्ट मेक देयर एंड टच Each stick has a width of 20 mm and thickness of 5 mm. Modulus of elasticity of this wood stick is lemon gigapascal. So you can see this is a wood stick number one and two that is separated by a cylindrical, uh, rigid cylindric cylindrical body having diameter of 50 mm. So its diameter is 50 mm. Now when force F is applied. clear so it will just bend like this we have to find the magnitude of force f in such a way that we have that there is should be no gap between this so that is all about this problem so we have to find this force in order to make their end touch so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you focus to only this portion so this portion acts like a cantilever beam having a point load at its end so we will just uh model it we can model the problem we, i will write it we can model the problem like a cantilever beam cantilever and if we draw it like this so let this is the cantilever beam having fixed support at this end a force f is applied clear so it uh, a force f is applied so it will deflect like this okay let this is the tot the length x is in this direction clear and the, this is the total length of this beam which is l clear so when you cut it you can see that here this deflection is half of the radius which is 25 mm so i will just also write it the deflection is 25 mm 25 mm so when you cut it at section at anywhere and draw the free body diagram so it will be like this this is the beam there is a force f acts on this beam and this is the distance x so when you cut it you will be having a shear force v and you will having a moment m let this is point 1 so we will find this shear force and moment by using equation of equilibrium so sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so you can see f is downward so minus f plus v is equal to 0 so from here we will get this shear force will be equal to f now what we will find is that we will find this moment as well so sum of all moments about point 1 is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point 1 one moment is this external uh, reaction moment which is counter clockwise it will be positive another moment will be f into x and that is clockwise so it will be negative as v is passing through this point 1 so there will be no moment due to v so we will write plus m minus f into this distance which is x is equal to 0 okay this f is also producing counter clockwise moment so make a correction this will be also plus so m plus fx is equal to 0 so it means that moment is equal to minus f of f into x what does it mean it means that the we have shown the moment over here is uh, counter clockwise so from here we get that this moment should be in clockwise direction so our resume direction is wrong so a moment should be in clockwise direction for uh, equilibrium condition now we know that 
uh, we know that from equation of equation of elastic uh, we have e i into d square v over d x square this v is small v which is deflection uh, or uh, this is uh, not deflection this is uh, deflection yes this is deflection so x is equal to movement clear movement is a function of x so put the value of movement in this equation so you will get e i into d square v over d x square will be equal to minus f of f into x integrate it once integrate it so you will get e i into d v over d x will be equal to minus f x square over 2 and there is a constant of integration which is c1 let this is equal equation number 1 again integrate this equation number 1 so you will get e i into v is equal to minus f x cube over 6 plus c1 x and plus c2 which is constant of integration let this is equation number 2 so c1 and c2 are constant of integration so we can find them by using boundary condition by using boundary conditions so what are the boundary conditions so let's check that the first boundary condition is that uh, at x is equal to l we have dv over dx which is equal to slope is equal to zero so you can check over here that at x is equal to x start from here and x is equal to l is this point so you can see here this slope which is dv over dx is equal to zero so what we will do is that we will put put in equation number one this is the equation of slope so we will put e i into dv over dx is equal to zero and x is equal to l so it will be minus f l square over two plus c1 so from here you will get c1 will be equal to f l square over two so this is the value of c1 now we will find c2 by using another equation of uh, boundary condition and that boundary condition is that at x is equal to l we have deflection is equal to zero so again from here you can see that at x is equal to l we have deflection which is v is equal to zero so we will put it in equation number two which is about deflection so when you put e i into v is zero is equal to minus x will be replaced by l so f l cube over six plus c1 c1 is f l square over two into x which is l plus c2 so zero is equal to minus f l cube over six plus f l cube over 2 plus c2 okay so when you take the lcm so you will be 6 6 divided by 6 is 1 so minus f l cube plus 3 f l cube plus c2 is equal to 0 so we will get 2 f l cube over 6 plus c2 is equal to 0 so from here you will get c2 will be equal to minus f l cube over 
थ्री ओके सो यू विल गेट दिस सी टू नाउ वी आर इंटरेस्टेड टू फाइंड आउट वी एंड वी हैव आई विल चूज इन अदर कलर वी हैव वी हैव डिफ्लेक्शन वी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव मीटर सो वी विल यूज इक्वेशन नंबर टू पुट C1 and C2 in equation number टू So you will get E I into V is equal to minus एफ एक्स क्यूब ओवर सिक्स प्लस सी वन इज एफ एल स्क्वेयर ओवर टू इन टू एक्स प्लस सी टू एंड सी टू इज माइनस एफ एल क्यूब ओवर थ्री and we will get v is equal to which is deflection is equal to 1 over ei into minus fx cube over 6 plus fl square x over uh fl x square over 2 माइनस एफ एल क्यूब ओवर थ्री सो इफ यू टेक आउट एफ एस कॉमन एंड एफ ओवर सिक्स इज कॉमन एफ ओवर सिक्स ई आई सो यू विल गेट इट माइनस एक्स क्यूब क्लियर प्लस थ्री एल स्क्वेयर इंटू एक्स एंड इट विल बी माइनस टू एल क्यूब Again, when you multiply this with this, so you will get the same. And f into three f l x l square x over six i will give you f l square x over two e i. So you will get this value. Now we have v deflection is given as zero point two five millimeter over here. You can see this is the deflection v. So you can just put it. V is equal to V is equal to zero point double zero two zero point zero two five. As it is is as V is downward, so it will be minus. So minus zero point zero two five will be equal to F over six E I into minus X cube plus. Three l square x minus two l cube, and this v is equal to minus zero point zero two five meter at x is equal to zero. So you can check here that here the x is equal to zero. So we will put all the x zero. So this will be zero and this will be zero. So we will left with f over six e i into Minus two l cube. Okay. So we are interested to find out f. So f will be equal to six times e i into minus zero point zero two five divided by two minus two into l cube. Now we do not have i. So you can see that we have been given that. The width of this wooden is twenty millimeter and thickness is five meter. Thickness is five. So this thickness is five millimeter and this width is twenty millimeter. So I will be equal to for rectangular cross section I is equal to one over twelve b h cube. So one over twelve. B is zero twenty millimeter, which is zero point zero two meter, and height is five millimeter, which is zero point double zero five cube. And when you calculate it, you will get I will be equal to zero point two zero eight into ten to the power minus nine meter power four. Now you have I, you have E, you have L, so you can just put the value six multiplied by E is given as 
11 giga pascal length of one this length will be equal to 0 0.5 clear so e is 11 giga pascal 11 into 10 raised to power 9 multiply by i i is 0 0.208 into 10 raised to power minus 9 multiply by minus 0 0.025 and divide by minus 2 into length is 0 0.5 cube so when you calculate it you will get the value of force comes out to be 1.375 newton which is the answer of this question so it means that when of you apply a force of 1.375 newton here 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 and here so these two wooden uh, sticks will meet at this point with there is no deflection or uh, 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 it will it will just meet at this end and that was all about this problem 12-20 12-15 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching my videos and supporting me